What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching House of the Dragon season two, episode six, Small Folk. Small Folk is a common theme in the show because when the powerful go to war, it's the small folk who they often suffer. Yeah, mm -hmm. take the brunt of it. So um, definitely like the video if you guys are team black and if you're team green, <laughs> leave a comment. Uh, that would help the channel and let us know where you guys stand. I mean, I'm definitely team black all day, right? Right. I mean, I, I definitely give team green, you know, their sympathy when they need it, but all in all, I'm definitely team black. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, man. I can't stress it enough. You guys just coming and hanging out in the office and watching these shows with us. It's fun. It means the world and it keeps us going. So thank you guys so much. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if anything's different. Sorry, I yawned. I'm actually HBO thing. <laughs> this has been a weird season without Otto. Yeah, it has. And Viserys, of course, but. It's okay. He's been being a, uh, he's been getting to live out his little granddad dreams. <laughs> he's out there high towering. Right. That, that is new. Who's that supposed to be? Mm. Hey, that black thing's new too right there. Yeah. The darkness is seeping in, I guess. I don't know. It's just <laughs> the vibe I got. Or the blacks are gonna win this episode. <laughs> Yo, that's some Lannisters. Oh, he's been saying about his uh what was he saying? His brother was Yeah, the guy in court. Yeah. The Lannister building guy. up an army or something. Is that the same actor? <laughs> Just, I don't know. They look very similar. I'm surprised Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen ain't making an appearance in this. Do you hear the reigns of Casimir? I love it. Lannisters. I love it. The Golden Tooth is honored to receive you, my Lord Lannister. I have 500 fighting men, armed and full of spirit. I bring a thousand knights of my own. Oh, By the time lines. we are finished with the Riverland scum, the Red Fork will have earned its name. We are ready to march at your command, my lord. I want you to send a raven to King's Landing. Come, my brother, we are ready to march. As soon as Prince Aemond is able to join us on Vega. They need that protection. Everybody wants dragons, huh? The prince makes his answer, my lord. My men have had a long march. We are most mm -hmm. eager to embrace the hospitality of your keep. Absolutely. Yeah, give me all your resources. That's cool that they have actual fighting lions. <laughs> he dares to summon me with haste. Are the Lannisters so diminished that they cannot march from the Tooth to Harrenhal without an escort? There is a large dragon in the Rivlands, Your Grace. My brother's army is strong, but it does seem. To I am the Prince you. Regent, not a dog to be called to heal. Tell your brother that if he does not deliver his host to Harrenhal with haste, Damon's dragon will become the least of his worries. Damn. Your irritations are justified, Eamon, but it does seem. I have a task for you as well, Sir Dylan. Dang, cut Dang. off. Cut off. We will make an alliance with the Triarchy. I've had enough of this cursed blockade. Are you messing up? Friends, you cannot mean to treat with the free cities. The captains of their ships are dangerous mercenaries, a little more than pirates. They are they stones are. throw away across the narrow sea. <laughs> Lannister and Hightower ships will take months to arrive. The Triarchy will delight in a chance to terrorize the Sea Snake again, while our true allies make their long journey east. The Triarchy may play with accepting terms, but they are not to be trusted. Your father knew this. What has come of our letters to the Greyjoys? They have been to no avail. The Red Kraken yeah, like... waits, seeking his best advantage. They want to enforce the from the Greyjoys, honey, if it comes to it. An offer of marriage, perhaps, to the Dowager Queen. Mm -hmm. Out of the question. The Dowager Queen speaks wisely, Your Grace. Even if the blockade could be broken, are we to invite these alien raiders into our waters so close to King's Landing? It's time you set out for Arrenhall, I think. Your Grace, if Daemon prevails in the Riverlands, I no longer have the numbers to challenge him. We lost much at Rook's Rest, as you all know. The longer we wait, the more chance he will prevail. Take what strength we have and force Daemon and his river lords to fight on two fronts. We would do better to await the High Tower host and set out in good time. There is no time. He's such an ass for Fortnite's march to Aaron Hall <laughs> strike before his army is raised. And you yourself? I'll fly out to meet you when the time is right. My uncle is a challenge I welcome, if he dares face me. Yeah, we'll see about that. But Damon's like the OG. I see we're all agreed. Mother? A word. This probably ain't about to be good. I caution you, Aemon. Boldness is one thing, but over Remind me of your place on the small council. You know very well I represented your father during the last years of his life, and I have been a counselor to Aegon. Capably so. Father's dead. Aegon is. Mm. You served the realm well, but a time of need. That need is ended. You are no longer obliged. 
Dang, he fired her? Because she was a bad mom. He's petty. You have more than enough of those, if you ask me. You have the impetuousness of youth and its arrogance, neither of which is to be desired in a king. you of your seat. What Aegon did to Otto. To return to Basically. Domestic pursuits. Man, she's fallen so far. Have the indignities of your childhood not yet sufficiently been avenged? Hmm. His mommy issues are bad, aren't they? You have the gratitude of the crown. I have a crazy thought, and all the book readers don't get mad at me, but you don't think that Alicent would try to scheme to kill Heyman, do you? I don't know. Maybe that's a theme that's about to start popping up. All this family this killing. This kinslaying. Yeah. What's up, Corliss? Or C. C. Snizzy. Oh, <gasps> flip. I mean, who better, right? I get hype when the hand's the first one there. I don't know why. I'm like, yes. You're doing your job so good. So basically, Eamon's small council is losing people and they're just gaining people, mm -hmm. getting stronger. Getting strong people. Your grace. W moment of the whole season. Bring him forth. Sir Stephen Darklin, your grace. Is all to miss, your grace? I find myself, Sir Stephen, in an impossible position. I have lost Princess Rhaenys and her dragon. I hold an island seat with no land army, and I must not go to battle myself, as I am constantly told, lest I am slain or captured, and with me are hopes of victory. There is still Daemon, and Caraxes, and the Rivermen. In any case, I must now proceed as if I stand alone. That's and I tough. see now that to do that, I need more dragon riders for Vermithor and Silverwing, and for Sea Smoke, who I believe misses his bond. But there are no more in your family. There is Princess Reyna. She has attempted it, alas, but the dragons here would not take her as a rider. Then who could do it? You. Oh. You got a little targ in you? You are of noble birth, and I had always heard, as you know, that the Darklins and the Targaryens had some common blood. I looked into the history, and indeed it is true. Your grandmother's grandmother, Ariana, was born a Targaryen princess. That's a stretch right there. Thinking, right. Could it be possible to even consider such a thing? I must protest, Your Grace, the risk involved in such a venture. Right, he could get burned up, I right? Am but a man. If he tries to ride one and it don't want him to. The dragons are gods. He's gonna get burned up. If he don't, Your they Grace lose the war. True fact. Me beyond what I deserve. You understand your peril. I do not compel you to do this. It has never been attempted before. To claim a dragon, you must also be prepared to mm -hmm. die. I well understand the risk, and I accept it with gladness. I swore to ward my queen with all my strength and to give my blood for hers. I just don't see him on a dragon. Horse, your grace. You know what I mean? He's giving like Nicolas Cage vibes. He should be on like a, a hot motorcycle or something. <laughs> like a fiery one. That's probably exactly what I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Oh, damn. This man's trapped. With the, that's what we've just established, right? He's yeah, trapped. Yeah, he's in a haunted house. Yeah, he's like on the 14th level of it. I think it has 88. Did you say it? The air for a day. Oh, he's reenacting this. Did you say it? Can't possibly still be angry about this. My family was just destroyed. You should have been at my side. But instead, you chose to celebrate your own rise. Laughing at me. Laughing with the whores and lick spittles. Lick spittles. Never forget the lick spittles. You have no allies at court but me. I have only ever defended you. And everything I've given you, you've thrown back in my face. I've decided. Don't. To name a new heir. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. By order of your king. Whoa, is he about to cry? Right. Oh, he is crying. I don't he didn't do that in real crying. life. Yeah, I don't remember him crying. Well, this time. is different. I think in real life, I think it this was. This is Damon's like perspective of it, I think. I think there was like some fire going and stuff in the first one. Like, <laughs> had lanterns in the halls. Open the door! Oh, there goes that guy. May I be of assistance, Your Grace? Damon's been sipping that milk of the what poppy. What are you playing, right. old man? I do wonder, Your Grace, if you're getting enough sleep, this old place. Or are you perhaps the cold bridge who's been tampering with my peace? A friend by day and a foe by night. To what end? To mine, perhaps. Oh, 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 oh. You resent my being here. No, no, no. We love you, Damon. <laughs> perhaps you are an agent of the Hightower rabble. Or are you still in league with your club-footed nephew? Or is it Rhaenyra herself? I, I shot you. Hey there, big guy. <laughs> what right. I is strong, I assure you, your king is on his guard. Yes. No, that's how you start acting when well, you don't take a nap. Stop watching me. That's why I try to get you to do it. I think they're hired. Remember I was telling you that? When I was editing, I was like, I think those people are hired by Laris. Because they are related to him. Mm. I 
feel like that dragon would be bored just waiting on him like that. There she is. You aren't going to bid me farewell? There's something wrong with me. Someone poisoned me. Food, the wine. Probably here. Or else it's this swamp air or... The ghost of Hat in the Black moaning his curses from King Spire Tower. Drivel! All of it! The ghost, the curses, the blasted weirwood bed, I'm done with it! Ah, yes, it is your way, is it not? When something does not please you, you run. Dragonstone, Stepstones, Pentos, Harrenhal. I wake and I do not know where I've been. There are older things in this world than you or I or a living memory. You are not the player, but a piece on the board. Damn, I love a good game reference. For that yeah. I'm not like you. In some ways, no. You struggle to see there's an anger that blinds you. She never even wanted it. The crown. She spared it no thought. Well, that's perhaps why your brother gave the crown to her. Perhaps those who strive for it are the least suited to wear it. Don't lecture me! She's just speaking facts. Viserys never wanted it himself, if you recall. He came to him and he did his best. It's not a prize to be won, but a burden to bear. That's what I was saying in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. That, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> if you have any counsel for dealing with the River Lords, I'd be glad of it. Damon Targaryen asking for help. Council. <laughs> house Tully is not the largest house in the Riverlands, nor is it the richest, but it is the most stable. Tully's wisdom has kept the river houses in line for centuries. They would kill each other to the last man if it were not for their liege lord. That dotard is of no use to us. A dotard? But Grover Tully is their lord paramount. <laughs> Dang, and she just gave it a little snack. I need help, Alice. Do nothing now. In three days' time, the winds will shift. Man, what am I missing with her, babe? She's obviously like a weird person because the owl just blew up to her arm. I don't know if she's good or bad, you know? I, I can't well, tell. Well, owl can be good or bad. Right. In some cultures, they're a sign of good luck, and in some cultures, they're a sign of like bad things that happen. So. I just can't tell with her. Right. He was a little nervous, don't he? I know, but that girl's out here hitting them vocals. Dang, is he saying a prayer? Did he learn some Valyrian before this? Well, if he's praying, I feel like... Isn't the whole thing is you got to be confident for the dragon to accept you? You got to, like, know who you are and stuff? Yeah, you got to walk and be like, Paris, right now. You better serve, damn it. <laughs> Listen to me, wizard. Trying <laughs> to pull a sword on him. No, you can't do that. <laughs> they, all, all they got is sticks? He looks crazy, doesn't he? Pyre. He was like Drogon. Pyre. Yes. Lucky Rico. God. <laughs> Sea smoke. Flanors. Sea smoke. Do hear us? Nah. Do not show fear. Ribas. Do hear us? Sea smoke. He's gonna put his back in it, doesn't he? Man, you better put your damn. You better put your chest into Say it. See it with your chest. He's a terrorist. They're like, you better listen to me, you damn dragon. Okay, let's go. Hop on. He said, come on up here. He said, come get you some. That dragon's so cool looking, honestly. I love it. All right, run. He's a little too nervous. I know, run. It's, it can tell. I've done it. You ain't done nothing. You better get on. I've done it. Head off, the oh. No! Oh. Is it because he said, I've done it? He, like, man, I think he was too ambitious for power in that moment. That sucks. Oh, and he has on all that steel. To be honest, I kind of figured that was going to happen because. I mean, he. I did. I really didn't picture him riding a dragon, you know? That's just the truth. Nothing against him. He's not silver haired enough for me. Hello. I'm pleased with our progress. This ship will sail in a few days' time. The blockade is sure to be challenged, be it by lions or krakens. Your men will be glad to have you among them. I wish you to sail with me. That's his bastard, That's my right? first mate. I think so. I'm grateful for the offer, my lord. Right. We will set course for Sharp Point. Lord Bai Emmon wishes to send his nephew aboard as a bosun. There are more experienced men at your service. I was younger than you when I took my first command. You distinguished yourself in the Stepstones. You are a fine choice for this post. Is this an order or a request? I will expect you to report for your duties on the morrow. My lordship commands. Not a very ambitious fellow, is he? No. Bit thin, isn't it? It's either that or the fish. Nothing but fish in this damn city. At least you got food. That's like on uh, uh, Cloudy with a Chance yeah. of Sardineville or whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can stomach it, lass. Yeah, you made the right choice there, I'll tell you that. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Knowing they're banqueting every night at the castle while we go without. That can't be true. My girls were taken to the Red Keep a few nights ago. Feasting 
and merriment for the new Prince Regent. <gasps> and him always acting so correct. I'll tell you, he's no penny pincher. They were well paid. She's mad because she got robbed. Well fed right. too. Wow. What the pay, the pay for mom. On the side. <laughs> Racks of lamb, my love. Mince pies, honey cakes, beef and gravy. <laughs> and what do you think? There is to be another revel on the morrow with dancing. That ain't right. That ain't right. Apologies, my good man. I should not have spoken so free. The royals would never countenance me. That's the one that's Damon's brother, family. isn't it? Mm -hmm. King Viserys loved his feasts and his wine, but never while our small folk went without. Mm. Aye. But he's gone now, and his rightful heir denied her seat. She's really that petty about it? Jesus. No use wondering what might have been. Well, and they're struggling, like, on top of that. <laughs> and he gets to have, like, all these crazy parties. And now they know about it. Beef and gravy. And they eat in fish soup for the 80th day. At least they ain't a bowl of brown. Oh. They might prefer it. At least they didn't have to eat horse bindings from the book. So that's pretty bad in Westeros' world. Stefan was a valiant knight. We stand as it. Yeah. If perhaps... Foreseeable was in favor of treating with Lord Mutton to march on Rook's Rest, a more conventional approach. True, not as sensational. She's so sick of him. Uh, his, his numbers were few, but we may yet retain. Oh! Oh! She's a shit joke. It is my fault, uh, I think, that you have forgotten to fear me. He should have did it twice. Why are you acting in shock? Oh! That's this the goes first against time. the theme, though. The whole theme has been you're not a warrior, you're a. You know, someone who uses diplomacy. It was worth the risk, no matter the outcome. More good men killed. Sir Stephen went willingly. It was a reckless thought. That an ancient Valyrian beast would suffer a darkling to ride it. And who will be so foolish as to try? After hearing what befell Sir Stephen. Why wouldn't she just get Lainor? Likely claim. There is good news to be had. Because he's gone. The small folk of King's Landing are listening. They were ready enough to hear. The usurpers have abandoned them. They are hungry. And they need someone to blame. Will it be enough? We have laid the kindling only. Tonight we will light it and watch it begin to flare. When it does, Aemond will put it down with force. That will make it rise the hotter. He cannot destroy his own city. Neither can they overthrow him. Maybe not, but it is harder to wage war abroad when you must also keep peace at home. True Let us see to our plan. If I may, Your Grace, mm. this becomes you. Well, she didn't think so. She put it down. She said, you look like a warrior. That's the last one. What? They haven't run out, have they? Nothing. There ain't nothing left. I've been waiting all day. I'll take anything. Scraps. Mm. Ooh, it's a lamb chop. Mm. Got enough sheep for your dragons, then? I was about to say, that's gotta enough be for the dragons, right. Where's our meat? We want meat! It seems, Your Grace, that the small folk have become restless. So? There is not food enough in the city. And those with means have so? more than their share. All the more reason Sir Tyler must break the blockade. In the meantime, the people are hungry mm. and their anger is rising. The enemy without may be fought with swords. The enemy within is more insidious. Why is this anger directed at us? It is Rhaenyra the Pretender who ordered the gullet closed and left them all to starve. They still look to you to ensure their well-being, which is the burden of authority. <laughs> it does occur to me that your grace has yet to name a hand. Sir so Criston, of course, so do brother, but you, you know what I'm saying? Who may advance your cause with shrewdness and subtlety. Do you take me for a fool? There's only three people at this meeting. <laughs> it's tiny, yeah. On the contrary, my prince. I have little patience for the self-important Lord Laris, and even less for flatterers and like spittles. But you are as it happens, correct? Every king needs a hand. I'll make it your responsibility. My prince, it is an honor I've never considered for I'm myself. Not to serve his mm. hand, you toad, to fetch him. Mm. Send word to Otto Hightower. My grandson <laughs> may be overcautious, but his devotion to his family has never been in doubt. Mm, you'll see it done. Oh, Larys. I am happy to report that his grace, the king. Bruh. Did he make that jab because he knows he killed his own dad? Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he just said? Potentially, yeah. And you toad to fetch him. Send word to Otto Hightower. My grandsire may be overcautious, but his devotion to his family has never been in doubt. Yeah, basically Damn. like. Mm, you'll see it done. Otto ain't about to burn me up in a castle and cut people's You're tongues late. out. I am happy to report that His mm. Grace the King has regained consciousness this morning, if only for a few moments. You said there was little hope. He is stronger than I thought. This morning his breath comes easier. He may yet live, thank the gods. Not happy news. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hmm. That's some lick spittles right there, y'all. Come on, Egg. Brother. Oh, hide the pillows. At that point, I almost would rather die. He's probably scared to death of that guy. Bro, he's trying to move over. Did you see that? He can't even move, poor thing. What do you remember? Nothing. 
<laughs> ah. You challenged my lease. Just foolish. Should have left her alone. <laughs> this is like a don't tell mom moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. You boys. Should have said good piggy piggy. Wink, wink. We're in the most capable hands, Sir Grace. His meeting ball. Seems my brother has a long recovery ahead of him, Grand Maester. See that he is made to rest comfortably. He pushed that and into his sword. I've decided there is nothing to be gained with fretfulness. Not all of us, I suppose, mm. are called to great deeds. Some of us must serve in smaller ways, even if they are not what we would choose for ourselves. Meaning no offense. Hmm? None of this is your fault. I want mother. Oh. Yes, I know it's difficult, but it. A burnt skelly. Ain't there a dragon that's running around burning up sheep or something? I mean, obviously it is. <laughs> oh, baby. Aww. Ooh, let me put that thing in a little that's aquarium. That's so cute. I bring good news, Reyna. Prince Rego has answered your letter. He'll be most pleased to shelter Rhaenyra's youngest sons in Pentos. And the half-sister thought you'd be happy. Mm. Or at least less morose. You hate it here. You misled me, my lady. I did what? There is a large dragon in the Vale. Who claim it? Rumor of it began shortly after the war, ranging more broadly for food, my maester's surmise. It is large and formidable, but alas, wild. Then maybe you don't alas. try. A merchant cog, the gay abandon, will take you to Pentos. I'll send six good men to protect you on the crossing. I didn't really understand what that meant. I just rode with it. You know you're not fooling anyone. <gasps> Look at his blonde hair. Or gray. Lord you mean Cordish silver? Has chosen to raise you up to serve alongside him, and yet you still continue this subterfuge. Oh, he's gotta go like all Don't the way. Don't to get the wrong idea. About what? You're just like him. <laughs> oh, you make an art to provoke me. You saved his life. You would never think about what could be ours or yours anyway. The riches, born. servants, the Driftwood Throne. We spend the whole of our lives in the shadow of the Sea Snake's Great Castle. So they're Not brothers. Does that mean that? Longer. He's so a different mom or something. Great opportunity. While me, I mean, Dad. I don't know. Good question. As he always has. The sea snake would sooner have high tide claimed by the sea than call us his sons. Stop wasting your life waiting for something that'll never come. Oh, so that could be his son too. He just doesn't want to be rejected, huh? I mean, I feel like obviously they'll get dragons, right? Is that where the show's going? Or ships? We'll see. They're good at ship shipping. <laughs> it was a bold attempt. I admire you for it. They say you struck Lord Bartimus today in view of the staff and guard. The household is abuzz with it. <laughs> the drama. He's lucky I did not have his tongue. Viserys. What did he say hmm. that was so deserving? I have tired of being protected. I bring to mind too much their mothers or their daughters. They must see in me a ruler. And the symbols of authority are not jewels and gowns, but the shield and the sword. My ruler is my mother, and I do not wish it otherwise. Will you lead us to war yourself? For a certainty, I cannot remain here, pacing the floors, waiting for defeat and despair to visit me. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm doing all I can. I have directed Lord Mooton to march on Luke's rest and sent another raven to the Vale to persuade- We may marshal the strength of the Vale, Maiden Pool, and all our allies besides. We will still never match the strength of the Green Armies. We need Damon and his dragon. May I be free for even one hour of the constant refrain of Damon, Damon, Damon. Your Grace. <laughs> Damon. The Lady Massaria. My queen, our gift is sent. What so gift? It is hope for clouds over the black water tonight. Wow. What gift? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But she's sick of Damon. Damon, Damon, Damon. That's Her all she hears. Her whole life has been about Damon, Damon, Damon. He, d he wasn't there. She got to become it. Simple <laughs> The gift. Oh, it's like a, it's like a big old thing. Is that food or something? But oh, yeah, because there's a seagull pecking at it. Nah, she ain't uber eating. What's she trying to do? Win some good favor with the people? At King's Landing. That would lead back to the title of the episode, huh? That guy right there was smart. He take that boat, head off with it. What boat? Go Rhaenyra though. But what boat are y'all yeah, talking about? What the hell y'all talking about? What bread? Team Black. Team. Look at the color contrast too. Hmm. He's like, is this a test? Am I gonna get shot for a traitor? Is it poisoned? <gasps> She really did Uber Eats for them. <laughs> Literally. Hooked them up. Appreciate you, Rhaenyra. Team Black, Team Black. Is this bringing her to Viserys he times? He's improved. His grace sleeps nine hours of every ten. But he did open his eyes and speak, however briefly. His mending may be long and painful, but it is my sincere hope that his grace will be spared. 
I have sent ravens again to Highgarden and to Old Town, and now to all the great houses in the Reach. There has been no word from Sir Otto as of yet. Hmm. That's kind of stressful, right? Right. There is war in the Reach now, Your Grace. House Beesbury has raised arms against the High Tower host. Retribution for their lord's demise. That was a cold blood killing, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's why she's reaching for the seven point of star. He said, oof, gods, help us. Oh, she is in there with him. I didn't know she was in there with him. He was just like Viserys. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. She told him, if you don't become king, you're going to die and all this crap, remember? Mm-hmm. Now she feels bad for her. Or Rhaenyra is going to put him to the sword. Mm -hmm. Sister? Gwen, it is well that I found you. I wish to give you my blessing. Well, my thanks to the Queen Dowager. I wondered if you've heard from father. I've sent ravens to Highgarden and Old Town, but I've had no reply. <laughs> I've had Left nothing. on red. Mm -hmm. But neither have I sent any message. Mm -hmm. If he wrote letters, it would be to you. You were always his favorite. <laughs> Strange there has been no word. Otto Hightower is ever resourceful. He will send news when there is news to send. I'm trying to keep her at peace. <laughs> I often wonder what life could have been if he had brought you to court instead. I'm the eldest son. It was right that I was raised at Old Town. You were eight years of age and motherless. It must have been different. You get on with it, don't you? When there isn't any choice. My son Daron, what's he like? Yeah, because oh, she don't even know, right. huh? That's sad. Less and less these days. Ten and six now. Letters perhaps hold less of his interest. He's stalwart. Clever. As adept with his loot as he is with his sword. And a feature in the fancies of many a young lady, I'll wager. He's kind. So basically he's cool because you didn't raise him. Basically, yeah. <laughs> she was starting to think it was genetics or something. Kindness <laughs> is a quality I found lacking in his brothers. You did well to send him to ward. Yes, it seems the Red Keep, for all its privileges, may in fact be a less than salubrious environment for the forming of young men. Right. Was it the court? Was it their mother? Oof. Mm. I'm sure you did your best. I must join Sir Kristen. Wish us luck, sister. I shall pray to the warrior for your safe return. He's like, whatever you say with that seven stuff. I'm praying to the stranger for Kristen's. It's funny how Kristen Cole's job used to be to protect her and watch her, and now he just does his thing, don't even notice. He's over there just doing, being in charge. Talking about whip spittles or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> whip spittles. Look at him. Seven Dude. blessings to you. Did you see that face he made? It was like, I didn't need your nod. Your grace. This one stopped singing. Isn't that strange? If you say so. I thought we might light a candle for Aegon and all our lost souls. All right, one of those stopped singing, and there was three, so maybe that means something. Maybe someone's gonna die. I mean, I'd probably guess Aegon, but it's funny because that's the only kid she really likes. Who, Aegon? No, her daughter. Oh, yeah, Helene. Oh, that's the guy's dog. No, it's not. Yo, where'd you get that food? We're near a ship's ship. They came ashore in the middle of the night with gifts from the queen. She thinks of us even now. He called her the queen. Oh, we got an uprising. So that worked. That propaganda was, was it. They needed that. Oh, dang you. He's a good guy. He saw him petting the dog. He was petting a little stray dog. Gonna give somebody a straight right. overhand right, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you should've went to the ship yourself, Hugh. How about that? Right, imagine carrying that all the way into town and having somebody bush it out of the head. I know, take, so you have a black eye and no food. No. She can't even go to church no more. She's not safe. Get the queens to the that was her house. privacy spot. Find your flanks. Your That's her secret service. Just for your grace. Oh, fish slap. Good thing she turned her head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Sheath your swords. Sheath your swords. Oh. Sheath your swords. A little too late for that. No, y'all gotta. What are y'all supposed to do? Oh my god. No! They'll rip them. How long are you supposed to sheath your sword? Get her in the vehicle. Dang. This is so violent. Ain't it kind of crazy how this happened? Oh. The same place where Nira got cut. A cut for a cut. She said, damn it, I'm living in a simulation. Wow. They're chasing her like a zombie movie. That's what it felt like, like hordes. Yeah. Because that's why I was like, they're going to get ripped apart in my head because it was like a zombie movie. No <laughs> more. My lord. Only the Grand Maester instructed me to. The king will be most eager for his draft in an hour. The drink takes the pain away, but it dulls your mind. 
Don't take heart, Your Grace. You've already written yourself into legend. You survived the dragon fire. But I'm afraid you will never be whole. Orwell has exhausted his abilities. Mm. He's bound your leg. But you will never run again. <laughs> your mind is all that remains to you. Do not say that gladly. I came screaming into the world from the bowels of one of Harren's great towers. My lungs were strong, but my foot was so twisted that my father named it sorcery. Oh, that's a really twisted foot then. Choosing a household of casting maligned spells. People will pity you, either behind your back or in your presence. And they will stare at you. And they will underestimate you. And this will be your advantage. No. <laughs> your brother rules in your place now, which means that your life is in danger. But I think you know that. Crippled alliance. <laughs> and they all lose their eye. You notice that? Mm -hmm. Viserys lost his eye too. It rotted out of his head. This is when Damon was out seeking glory when Viserys lost his wife in childbirth. Yeah, and he was like chilling in the brothel, just in the middle of it. Well, I think during that time he was out jousting, right? Well, that's when he said air for a day. David, she's gone. <laughs> Aww. I'm sorry. You needed me. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. Your Grace. Sorrowful news from River Run, my king. Lord Grover is dead. No shot. The old man. Indeed. Young Oscar Tully is now Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. What was the manner of Lord Grover's passing? Well, he'd been ill, of course. Mm -hmm. River Run's maesters have been at their wit's end. Our own healer, Alice Rivers, volunteered her renowned skills. She plied her craft. Renowned? There was not more to be done. Hmm. He still heard about that vision? Hmm. My goodness. That'd be so scary. That's what the bats do at the lights. They really do. <laughs> we used to put rocks in a sock and throw them in there and watch them fly down to the ground. That sounds country. What country is this? Look. Why does it? Why is it attacking him personally? Man, <laughs> like, you can't run from a dragon. He's picking on me. That's the great one too, ain't it? The dragon. <gasps> <laughs> Oh no. Man, you better go hop on that dragon. This is what I knew was gonna happen. <sighs> say it. Just say to Harris, see if it works. That's crazy. The dragon saw him out. And right? That's the crazy. Were carried from the ship into the city. I they guess they understand the how paramount it is. Keep before they were turned away. It is as we hoped, a warning to the usurpers that you have strength beyond what they accredited. I thought you'd be pleased. I do not think I can win this war. I think you are tired. My own son questions my capabilities. Thinks I need Damon at my side. Well, he has a dragon. And Damon himself. He has ever done what suits Damon. He was everything I wanted to be. Carefree and dangerous. A man. And I was what he wanted. Cherished by my father and made my father's heir. We were halves of a whole. He's never been at peace. He wished to possess me, but not to be possessed. And to see me take hold, finally, of what he always believed to be his. I fear what he may now do. I fear he may have turned against me. It is more his way to disappear. In either case, I have lost him. And Caraxes with him. He'll come around, right? Rainy says I are dead. I have Cyrax and two young beasts. We cannot take on Vagar alone. And I have no army. You have the Valarian fleet and the men who fight in it. It's not enough. And even if we somehow prevailed, how will I rule a kingdom when my own son doubts me? You have me. It was my father. Oh, the scars. He was still a child. He had his pleasure with me. And when after many months of this, it became evident that his seed had taken root. There is a scar here as well. I cannot bear children. He left me for dead, but I lived. I'm so sorry. Swore to myself I would never trust another, and that oath has stood me well. The world is cold and cruel, and there are few in it who are steadfast. You, I think, are steadfast. 
You have seen me as worthy, as an equal even. Because of that, I will serve you. I believe you are meant to be queen. I guess she just needed a hug. I mean, her husband's MIA. Uh-oh. You're getting a little weird here. He's not that MIA. <sighs> not for the sniffing. That's some, that's some next, bleh, I can't even talk. That's some next sniffing. <laughs> I keep wanting to say next stiffing. No. That seems like that came out of left field, didn't it? I don't want this to happen because I like that Masari is like a Varus figure to me. I don't want her to get intertwined. Begging your pardon. Your Grace. The Dragon Sea Smoke has been sighted flying over Spice Town. Yes, he does that. From what we have heard, he has a rider. <laughs> who? Impossible to tell from the ground. The Greens? I don't know who else it could be. Shall I summon your council? I bet she thought maybe Lainor. Maybe? Or is someone on the Greens? Mm -mm. Man, Lainor is gone. Lainor ain't gone. He's gone, bro. Like, he ain't coming back. What's he gonna do? Come back and be like, oh, sorry, dad. He's gonna, if he comes back, he's gonna ruin everything. He's gonna blow everything up. I have faith in it. So she has to see for herself, basically. Crazy. So they have another dragon. All right, guys. So that was House of the Dragon, season two, episode six. Small folk. Small folk. Mm -hmm. uh, babe, what do you think about that episode? I thought it set up a lot of things for the future. Obviously, a lot of propaganda with the small folk. We clearly see they're not on the green side at all. Um, well, not anymore because they fed them. Well, yeah, you can't. It's even, hard to, she it's can't hard. even go pray anymore. She's gonna get a fish thrown at her. Oh, it's funny how I think it's funny how the narrative changes so much. Like the small folk are made out to be so dumb. Like they have no agency. Like they're as simple as like whoever gives them some food. That's I mean, they same, but same with Game of Thrones. Remember when it, when Daenerys let any type of like if she gave anyone an inch, they always took a mile. Mm -hmm. Like it was always bad like that. So basically, I guess they said it best. The small folk are going to go whoever, whatever side they think is going to win. Period. Right. Absolutely. So basically, Eamon is up and having his small council meetings. And it's just such a contrast to Aegon because Aegon had a very full council. It was lively. There was like food, uh, which doesn't say much but you know if, if you if you ever take food to a meeting it changes the atmosphere yeah 100%. and they so had like wine at it sir they might not have been the realist council they might have had their own ambitions and stuff but at the same time at least there appeared to be some like some order to the kingdom mm -hmm. but with Aegon, he's not playing this naive game where he's pretending and putting on a show like he's very realistic you mean about amen would rather just have like no one on his council, but a couple of realists who, even though he knows they're working against him, he's not into the yeah. the lip spittles or he whatever. He fired his own mom. <laughs> well, you know, that's just because they just have such a weird relationship. She was never able to comfort her kids yeah. at all. So I think that the cold, distant feeling that they've always sort of felt from their mom, they're giving it back to her tenfold yeah. now. So because whenever she doesn't. said that she wasn't going to get married off, he found her basically useless. Like when she said, absolutely not. To that. Yeah, he's like, so what are you even here for? Just right. to stress me out? Right. And that seems to be a common theme. Like the same way that he's tired of having to sit there and give mental energy towards her in a sense. She kind of got mad about the same thing. And you saw Renera get mad about the same thing also in this episode. So it's like a common theme. So basically, Aegon's terrified of his brother. His mm -hmm. brother walks in, terrified of him. Whereas obviously just wants Aegon to somehow make it through because he gave the whole speech about the milk of the poppy dulls the pain, but it also dulls the mind. So he obviously is just, you know, he was put in his place at the small council meeting. Right. The minute he he had an inkling that he was on the outs, he automatically in his mind just jumped. Yeah, power. he went and made an alliance with Aegon, like I said, the crippled alliance. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, that was kind of crazy too. What else? So he went there and basically told him like, hey, you're gonna get looked at, you're gonna get laughed at, but hey, we're gonna take it and run with it. And because, they're gonna underestimate you because right. of it. And I have to deal with it too, so I'm here for you, bro. Right. Make me the hand. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's a, it's also apparent that Eamon is in search of Otto Hightower, which is crazy because- For some reason we can't find him, he's in my Right, aid. right, right. Right. So my prediction- it's probably trout fishing. <laughs> my prediction is they're gonna have to send the son that they talk about in Otto's place or something like that. You think so, or do you think we're gonna get another? Either that, or he's gonna be a dragon rider. Of some you don't sort. think they're gonna send the son in there with all of his kindness they were talking about, and he's gonna come in there and they're just gonna change up again? Oh, I thought he would change up the culture. Maybe Otto's developed some type of affection for this grandson also, and then maybe he won't get along with Eamon or right. something. Do you get what I'm saying? Maybe right. that'll be divisive in that way. So right. Um. So Damon is still basically at the haunted house. Uh. 
Guys, I'm ready for that you. part. Yeah, I'm ready for that part. Yeah. That's crazy. You was just reading my mind like a paranormal yeah. ghost. I'm kind of ready for that part to be over. Like, it's cool and all. But at the same time, it's like, I kind of like Damon when he's not playing Ghostbusters. Yeah. But I get that it's probably necessary. He is obviously going through a lot of his personal demons. A lot of the biggest moments, the most meaningful moments of his life, I think he's realized he's sort of screwed off during them. So it will be a character changing moment. I feel like I feel like we're at the end of this. We're going to get a great Damon. And I, I still don't moment. know who that damn girl is that he's talking to. Like Alice Rivers. Guy. Yeah. But who is she? Well, whenever, you the know, Al lady, you know, when when he said that he went, she said, you know, the Tully's have no. She said someone doesn't have the biggest army. Was it the Tully's? Is that who she said? I think so. Well, and then she went and killed them to me. In my opinion, she killed the leader of the Tully's. Because the he basically wasn't gonna be Team Rhaenyra because she's a girl. Well, yeah, yeah, because he, yeah, because he definitely ain't gonna conceive power. Well, anyways, one. that younger one Damon was that. talking to, remember mm -hmm. the younger one. So I feel like that might be a W for the blacks. Right. I don't know, but Damon looked really distraught after, and I can't tell if it was because he was still stuck in that moment he had, or if like he actually was like upset about that. I don't know. I think he's a little upset. Probably a little bit of both. Yeah. Rhaenyra doesn't like to hear it, but I think. On some level, like Damon definitely needs to come back. I know yes. doesn't like to hear it, but not only because I mean he's such a powerhouse, but Caraxes is a beast of a dragon. And right. We need him. And Vagar is a hungry girl. So well, and we need we need all the we help need we can Damon get. too because he basically like this sounds weird, but he basically is like the egg cultivator. Like he basically goes and captures the eggs and like mm -hmm. sings to them and like he knows a lot about like Targaryen stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is he's a, important. He's one of the last true strong Targaryen men for sure. Yeah. They're, and you know how they need breed. that Valyrian blood they're always talking about? Mm -hmm. We need Damon and Rhaenyra to be teammates. So we need them to come together. Like if they could be establish themselves as a force and stop being so divided, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Well, that's what another reason that Masariacus, like I know it was like, you know, kind of like, dude, you're cheating on Damon doing that crap. But in a weird way, I feel like it was also a way to get close to Damon because Masaria used to also be with Damon. I don't know. Maybe it was like, you know, symbolic for That's that. That's just some weird three-way action going on. I'm not even going to lie. Just some strange junk, yeah. If they want to kiss, completely grown, consenting adults, whatever. Felt a little forced to me. Right, but really she's. Did. But the thing is, she's married to Damon, and Damon's off doing Damon stuff, whatever. But we still don't know exactly what he's doing, and we can't, we can't count him out yet. He's Damon, you know? Absolutely. Don't count Damon out. And then... Uh, we got a new dragon rider, so Lord Corliss is one of his bastards. I forget their names. Well, that's They're what very we think. That's what we think. We never saw it, but that's man, what, we what think. else? What else am I supposed to assume? That he ate him and went to one of those guys on the island. Nah, <laughs> definitely not. He sought so him Adam, out. Adam, two D Adam, two Ds, two Ds. All right. So <laughs> the thing is, the dragons are very intelligent, and they obviously can read the room and they understand the situation. And I don't really think the dragons care about like titles and all that garbage. No. They just said, "Hey, you got that Valerian blood, baby, and I need you." So he said. I mean, I'm down with that for sure. We definitely need more riders on Team Black. 100%. Do you think it? I think the brother, the one who keeps shaving his head, yeah. he needs a dragon too because there's Maybe. two dragons, right? Wouldn't that be sick? I really am having strong feelings that he's gonna take over for Coralus. Like he's gonna be Coralus. Well, like, he needs to stop shaving his head and be proud of who he is. Well, maybe he just doesn't want people to know. Yeah, it seems like he does want people to know, but he made the little sob statement about how basically, why are you waiting on him to recognize us? Blah blah blah. It seems like he wanted to be recognized. He just doesn't have faith in it because you know the title of bastard holds a lot of weight so. right uh, it makes me curious to know who their mom was i guess yeah absolutely it's interesting Great. that whole thing one of them i feel like is gonna get drift mark i feel like i think the craziest part of the episode to me guys was allison going and basically trying to go and pray like she does you know that's her place where she finds peace it's always been that way even since she was like a little girl mm -hmm. you know that's her place where she goes and she even gets yeah her and renera went there to pray for her mom right and both their moms basically man uh the people went crazy on the streets because they're being starved out and she can't go there anymore she's not safe anywhere so she had like her own little like secret service team which is funny and ultimately she just got really lucky man she got lucky that she didn't get got by the people in king's landing because cause... one of their um agents didn't make it out alive it was pretty right he got desorted and it was used yeah they started them. cutting people's hands off yeah it's crazy Crazy episode. So basically, it's, the realm is really shaken up. And when Eamon was told about it, he was like, so? <laughs> yeah, and it's just scaring the people because there's no food, there's no stability, there's constant turnover of leadership. And, you know, and they said in the episode, people are starting to whisper about Viserys and how peaceful it was and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, And they have a bad taste in their mouth, not only because 
you know, Aegon and Aemon are always like amongst them and stuff. And so they have like, you know, I feel like at first maybe they had good vibes when Viserys was there and it was like, oh, cool. There's peace. Like, we'll drink with you. But the minute you start cutting off our things and not allowing us, but you're still ha you're still like having a good time in your part. Reality your hitting thing. in. Right. Yeah, them so And they cool. turned quickly. And I think the most interesting thing is, so guys, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but Aemon's paid mom. Aggressive. Yeah. That's what she has a paid mom. Yeah. She, uh, she on the other hand, like she kind of started the whole thing, mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy. That's a huge betrayal. I don't know, man. That's a risky move. I feel like they might have her tongue for that. Right. I, I feel like she's going to be like a big, <laughs> I feel like she works with Masaria, Maybe. Everyone's well, we definitely know one of them does. We definitely know, uh, the girl that Aegon, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. It's like Melinda or something like that. I wonder how they're going to choose to send the Masaria <laughs> character out in the show. Do you think they're gonna do her the same way they did uh Varys? I hope I hope not. I mean, I, I, I don't really love, you know, she's not my favorite character because like what ha just happened with her and Rhaenyra, like I used to like her a lot more until that because, you know, I don't really want that to happen, but I do like that Masaria is good with the small folk and I really do feel like they're underestimating how much that's gonna matter. They're really underestimating it mm -hmm. because you can see how big of a deal it is when Al Alicent can't even go there she'll literally get lose a member of her like king's guard but it just really raises the question for me though that early in the series renice came up from underground and killed so many innocent people and she's team black so it just seems like to me on some level like these people need to stop looking outward they need to start looking inward and realize that they need to just have a damn revolution right you know what i mean like they're their, their they're the cost sucks. of everything yeah they're yeah. the cost of every move they make Okay. And I can understand how the people are getting frustrated when they're starving and there's all these perfectly good lamb chops, right? And you're thinking, mm, it's a lamb chop. No, 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 no. These dragons have to eat 16 sheep a day. Yeah, y'all you know get I mean? fish. Sorry about y'all. Have fun with your fish soup. Hey, but fish ain't bad. I mean, hey. They're complaining about fish, but they're fish pescatarians is over there, I guess. Right. What if they go crazy and try to eat a dragon? That'd feed the whole village. Well, when that guy said it's just meat. I don't know. Yeah, I know. That's the vibe I got. Yeah. And they're like, we want mate. You know, they keep using it as like a, like they've used the same term. Right. Heck yeah. Crazy episode, man. Uh, I just think that everything's really, really falling apart for Team Green. It's apparent that they're getting weaker and weaker and weaker. But Rhaenyra at the same time is just under such an impression that she can't win. You know what I mean? And I think that she doesn't really realize what's going on on the ground at King's Landing. So... She's one of those things. Do, she just needs an army. Isn't she needs it kind of like force. when you're dragging it? Because, you know, Aegon didn't die. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, Sunfire didn't die. Mm -hmm. So basically, like, if you are if you don't die, if you, basically you and your dragon kind of coincide, except for, like, except for Vagar. Like, so Melise and Renice die, but Aegon and Sunfire survive together. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just saying that's like a weird parallel. You think maybe like their strength lies with each other or something? Yeah, like something. They, but it yeah. not always because Vagar's hasn't. Vagar's passed through different. Vagar's been through it. Yeah. She's been through it 100%. Yeah. Still loving this series. It's, it's honestly getting better. Seriously. I thought the first season was such a. Setup. It was a setup. It was such a setup. Yeah. And it was something so unique. And to, to me, honestly, this was the most political show I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Game of Thrones was highly political, but the politics in this one dive a lot deeper. So definitely the most political show I've ever seen, which is fun. But I think that season two, in my opinion, I almost like it better. It's art like when I said that real time, I kind of paused myself because I got to thinking about season one and how explosive it was in so many different ways. But we're just we know the characters already, so we're just like you know, as we said it, the biggest thing, their peaks. Well, the biggest thing to me is we just need Damon to get right. Right. Once Damon can get back in the fold, you know, love him, hate him, whatever. He's such an amazing character, and he just needs to get out of there. Right. We just love to have Damon around in in a good way, not like I like to have Damon talking strategy on the battlefield i don't want him off playing shaggy somewhere right and, getting on our nerves with the smirky comments but i do you know? think like, that when i first started watching the show like aemon the character aemon like I, I just i couldn't with aemon but i will say like the very first time we saw him in this episode the way they zoomed into his face you guys know what i'm talking about the shot that we had when he was at his council meeting mm -hmm. or something like that He's really growing, like as like a bad guy. Well, he's just a, yeah, he's like a he's anti, such a good bad. He's guy. He's an anti-hero, I guess. Would you say that? No, I definitely think, think he's a bad guy. I think he because I think in a way he was and if you think about it for, as an outsider, from his perspective, like yeah. from his perspective, he's protecting the realm because Aegon's a bad guy. 
like i don't know but at the same time he's not very realmish in these you know when they're like hey they're uproaring he's like so like i can't really describe him i just want to say i think he has an unbelievable amount of arrogance and entitlement and i think just the his name and the blood that he carries I think he just put so much stock into it that he just wants what's his, I think. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. It's hard to know what his ambitions are. I'm sure on some level he wants what's best for, you know, the crown and for his family and all that. But I think his biggest motivation is just arrogance and he feels entitled. He just feels entitled to it, you know. But at the same time, though, you know, they were saying like the Lannister army at the beginning, they were like, yeah, we'll do it. If Aemon's here on Vagar, and it's kind of like, he's like, yeah, I'm in charge like that, right maybe. now, dude. I yeah. can't just stop what I'm doing to go be on Vagar right there. So I kind of see, I kind of see why he feels like not respected. Yeah, I can see why not respected. I don't know. I thought for sure he's going to kill his brother. I mean, that's all I'm waiting on. I mean, I don't know why he's going to let him live or how he can't. He like to test like his, uh, what do you call his, what do you call it? Your claim to the crown is solely on like Aegon's existence. So like if he dies, it's his. And if I can't alive, imagine a it's crippled. Not. I can't imagine like a crippled king. Viserys. Well, yeah, but he was crippled due to like old age and stuff. I'm talking about a young, able-bodied king who's missing a leg and who's doing all this. Like that's gonna be hard. You know, they they roll with strength. Right. And they're well, warriors, I think that's so. what Laris is there for to like guide him through to be well, strong. Or to weasel him through, yeah. Like kind of like Matt Murdock when he has that guy sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy episode, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For real, it's only getting better. Uh, we'll be back next week with the next episode 100%. So just like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. I can't stress that enough. We'll see you on the next one.